back with Purple Pam, and I think she thought up a little skeleton from her dirty little closet. So, um, thank you, Peter Chan. <laughs> All right, what is it, Purple Pam? Well, I wasn't really arrested, but I was 16 years old. I started smoking weed at, uh, I think, 12, because um, we, I smoked cigarettes for six months. And between classes at school, that's what you did. The girls did in the bathroom to be cool, so I did it. I started getting fevers, and then I got turned on to weed, and I'm like, this is better than cigarettes, this is stupid. <laughs> so I was the only one really that smoked weed at 12. And I went to my first concert, was Aerosmith, Get You In Store. And I got high, that was the first time I got high, and I was like, hey! <laughs> but when I was 16, I got this great new bowl, it was like a little glass pipe, and it had a, like a mafia man on it, it was called the Hit Man. Oh, um, that's funny. And I'm like, and I got it from my good Italian and girl. And back then, a bag of weed was like um, 35 bucks an ounce, so it was 17 yeah. 50 when you split it with your buddy. <laughs> so, and it was just like, you know, of course it's like the old dirt Mexican weed, but back then it was good. Yeah. This was like extra good, and we were like, you know, because we matched us off a joint between the school. And um, so we were out, me and my friend Barbara, and she had a green Nova. Remember those green Yeah. Novas? We're back there. And we're high as fuck, we're using my bowl, and like, yay! And I look next to where the stoplight, and I see this cop, and these like Middle Eastern looking guys with these big top hats. <coughs> and we're like, and they, I, my intuition is very good. I used to be a PI and a bounty hunter in the 80s between band tours. Because my intuition's wow. really good, yeah. I didn't carry a gun, my friend did, but um, I, my intuition is very good and, and I sight you, Billy. So I'm thinking, my heart went. I'm like, I know these are cops, but I didn't want to be like you know, in front of her. Mm -hmm. you know, There's a cop and be all paranoid and look stupid. So I went, look, those, look at the next doors. Those cops are looking at, they look like cops, like scary cops, huh? And then she was like, ha, ah, yeah. And I was hoping she'd be like, yeah, like pick up on it. Uh -huh. Well, sure enough, as soon as the light turns green, we go, and the siren goes on. Oh. And I'm like, motherfucker, right? So the bag, she's like, hide the weed. The bag of weed is going back and forth. <laughs> and, like, and of course they can see that. And we're like, well, we won't stop. We're still, we're like, because we, she had a hole in the back. She's like, you hide it. No, there's a hole back here in the seat. And I'm like, okay, but we're still going to like a mile and a half. And then we finally stopped after I got it in the hole. So they come out and they see. And they uh, found it, of course. And they uh, they took my they took away. We're taking you home. They they weren't gonna. Goes, All right, we won't arrest you. Wow. We'll just take you home to your parents. And they kept the weed. Of course. Uh, yeah. I knew that. Of course. Yeah. But then I was like, well, can I just can I at least have my hitman back? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it was like the best, most potent weed for that time. And we sure. were like, oh my god, we scored. We had, we could smoke less. I'm like, please, can we, like, all right, you took our best weed ever, but can you at least give me my hitman? <laughs> Did they? Yeah, yeah. And he goes, no. I'm like, <laughs> like, like, all I wanted was my hitman glass pipe. It was so cool. That's cute. Oh, you Thank want you. a little more whipped cream for that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Fuck you, fucking guys. Yeah. <laughs> Purple Pam, thank you so much. I got whipped cream all over you for that. Okay. Acid rays and the only, the only purple oh. pair. Yeah, rock star. <laughs>